Um, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vintage Inspirations. I'm Tanya. Um, for my returning subscribers, God bless you. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing, like, comment, and share. And um, I wish you guys would um, support my membership. Um, it would really help my channel grow. I'm really struggling. <laughs> uh, it's bad enough I'm dealing with my health, but um, it would really help, really, really help my channel grow. I'm just coming back from the um, doctors. I had to do some x-rays and um, I'm in the garden. I'm going to plant, replant that uh, beautiful cherry tomato uh, plant that I bought the other day. Um, so I just decided to um, share it with you. You know, why not film when I, when I have some strength and some, uh, some my health is okay, you know. Uh, there is some noise. They're still building that uh, house behind my house. And they are, I can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it. In fact, it didn't, it never picked up in any of my other videos. So it's a blessing. Um, but okay, let's turn around and get into it. And, um, and after that, I'll show you some things that have grown in the garden. Yeah, very exciting. Okay. Oh, I'm just putting on, I have a lot of these shirts in the back that I keep to put on to come outside. Um, most of them are Ralph Lauren. <laughs> I just love them and um, when I bought it it's either like too big or maybe has a little rip so I never throw them out though because they're like you know Ralph Lauren or whatever designer and um, I just love it but I think why did I not like this one I'm not sure because it fits me perfectly I don't know but somehow I wind up in that pile maybe when I was uh, cleaning out my closet a uh, time back I didn't want to keep it and I didn't want to throw it out so maybe that's why and then I have a cute little Oops, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my dress. Okay, I have to edit that out. I'm wearing a cute pinstripe dress. Too, too cute. Yeah. Okay, well that was <laughs> not good at all. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's turn the camera down. Okay, I pray that's a good shot. And we're not going to be out here too long because it's quite, quite, quite sunny. So, um, so I'm good. I, I think it'll grow good in this pot. But I wanted to add some of that rich soil that I bought the other day. Even though this was for the front yard, I'll just buy another bag. Oh, where are my gloves? Let me get my gloves. I'll be right back. I was able to lay back a bit and relax. Then we'll mix. Okay, I'm going to leave the space in the middle. Get this plant in here. Here's the plant right here. If you, this is your first time to this to my channel. I bought this from the Home Depot the other day. It has a lot of cherry tomatoes. Can you see them? They're all in there. Some nice ones. In fact, I can pull them out. <laughs> I think I'm going to pull them out before I even plant it. Because they're ready to eat. <laughs> I'm surprised no one ate them last night. And I'm, when I say no one, I'm talking about the rodents that come out at night, the possums. Oh, there's a lot. I didn't even notice that. So when I bought them, there wasn't a lot there. I guess it came overnight. It's wonderful. Yeah, one more red one. And I'm hoping that this goes really big when I have to even take it out of this pot. Let me put this in my pocket because when I stand up, I'll forget and they'll fall on the floor. <laughs> okay. All right, so look ahead. 
ahead and snap. I'm not sure. I wonder if I should, if I have to cut it out of here. How do these come out? There's some like snap things on here. And you guys know I have no strength. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, I got it. Let me put it here so you can see what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. I guess they make it strong enough to hold it to support the support the plant. You know why they're trying to sell it. So okay. And then we're gonna gently remove it from here. Okay, we got it. Well, let's go ahead and dig it on out. I'm going to do this on the ground so I don't destroy the plant. I guess I should have put the camera on this side. I'm so sorry. You know, like I said, it's a blessing that I'm even in the garden this year, so things just can't be perfect. Maybe next time I'll be a little better. right out. And I think you can see right here I'm gonna give this a squeeze and loosen it up some. And wow did it need to change pots. It was suffocating in there like really, really, really suffocating. And, uh, wish I had a string to support that while I'm trying to plant it. Make the best of that fact. I might have should have just left this on it to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, let's try to get that back in. You know, sometimes you mess up stuff, God already has it the way you need it to be, and you don't even notice it to after the fact. I think I can get this back in. Just a little patience. That's all I need is a little patience. And uh, I'm sure I'll get it back to where it needs to be. I'm trying to push them upward so they can grow up. making sure they're all supported. I think I did a great job and I'm going to add some soil all around. And, um, in fact, If you can get help with the garden, it's such a plus. Like your children or spouse, husband, doing the things alone is really, really difficult. Getting dirt all in my shoes. That's that's not too good. <laughs> if 
you have small grandchildren or small children, get some water in the backyard so they can play in the summertime to keep them cool. You can buy a mini pool or even get a sandbox and fill it with water. And the sprinklers are good too. You know the thing that you would use, like the vintage ones, to water your garden? They kind of spin around. Those are cute. The kids love them. My grandkids, when they were little, they used to love them. out of this dirt, but I, I have that other dirt I'm going to have to go grab some maybe. Maybe not. I might just have just enough. Okay, let's keep our fingers crossed. I hope it grows big. Um, I can get somebody to dig a hole. I'll put it in the ground at some point, which will be soon. I just wanted to get it out of that pot because it was suffocating in that pot. It can't grow anymore. This gadget on. It's going to be quite difficult because I don't want to catch the um, tomato plant. I'm going to try my best to get this in here. I need to keep all rodents out. holding it, I'm not sure. <laughs> it should go right on in, but it doesn't want to. Let me see. Oh, not that side. Let's see, is it this side? No. Okay, I think I gotta stand up. Make sure it's in there properly. You have to take care of your uh, your garden, like real gently. So I want these to come up to the next level. So I'm trying to push it in and over. See the next level of the wire rack? Yeah. I'm not sure why this thing doesn't want to. Oh. Okay, I think the thing in the back is interfering with it. Okay. I wish you guys could see what I'm actually doing. Let me push this. It doesn't want to like sit. It normally sits. Oh, oh, okay. I think I just figured it out. Okay. Okay, I got it. <laughs> All right. And I'm losing so many 
tomatoes. Not good. But uh, I did it, guys. I got it in there. And this is just a temporary situation right here. I'm so hot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like. <laughs> that was a true workout. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh. Okay, there she is. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I hope it grows. I hope it grows. I hope it grows. I'm going to add a little bit more dirt when I get time. It's kind of hot out here. Well, let's look at the garden. I mean, my uh, like what I'm gonna say is me and the squirrels rather than eating the strawberries. But um, looks like it's kind of drying out a bit. This, some are growing. See, these should be more white, and I don't really see any white flowers. The inside looks like it's starting to grow. You see that? Yeah. And the good thing is that they're standing tall, so they look okay. Um, the thyme is doing wonderful. It's just growing like crazy. See how much it has grown? And this one here. Um, I don't see any flowers either. You know, if we had like a drought and these things got flooded out and then no sun for days, so they're suffering, but we're going to have a lot of sunny days coming, so hopefully they'll start growing. When I'm done filming, I'm showing you, I'm going to water everything and kind of like hold these things to give it some breathing space. Yeah. Um, but they don't look terribly bad, it just... I don't see a lot of flowers, but like I said, inside looks so healthy. You see that all those little blossoms coming? Yeah. And remember that lady gave me those um, roots? So I planted, there's one growing right there, and then this one is growing. I still don't know what these are. But this one actually grew. I'm shocked. It actually grew, but let me show you the other one. It's really long. I don't want the sun to glare you too much. It's really sunny out. This one has grown really, really tall. Does anyone know what this is? Is it just a green plant? Huh? I'm clueless. But there she sits. And uh, this one just started growing. This little guy right here, and he's just as tall almost as the other ones. Um... I'm going to have to find a spot for them. They're not going to stay here. I just had to get them out that pot because you can't have uh, tall things in a small pot. So that's why I got them out the pot. And they're growing so tall and big. But I don't know what they are. I haven't a clue. Maybe a flower will come at some point. I don't know. Maybe that's a flower coming. I have no clue. It's beautiful though. Okay, and then over here, I had to do some supporting because these things were growing so wild. And I believe these are all snow peas because I Googled it. Remember, I wasn't sure if they were the peppers or the snow peas, and so I believe they're all snow peas. Yeah. Hopefully they'll grab one. Remember the bunny I got? And I put a few other little things that I have so they could catch on. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I don't know if it's my vegetable or weeds. I don't even know. Um, I 
Okay, here's something. I think that's pepper. There's another one. And the tomatoes. Oh, no, I'm losing my tomatoes. <laughs> They're falling out my pocket. The tomatoes didn't grow. You see them? There's another pepper. Someone's been eating it. It's a shame. And then I have a few more things growing. I did plant a lot of cucumbers, so hopefully they're coming up. And I see them, but look like someone's chewing on them. Wow, look at that one, beautiful. So, and even that one, that's a tomato, that may even grow, you never know. I don't know if this is something I grew or it's just weeds. <laughs> I can't tell. But those are doing great. And uh, I think it's something I grew because it's over here too. You see? Yeah. And then uh, I believe those are peppers. The peppers look like they're actually growing. Well, maybe those are the cucumbers. I lost track because I, I did plant some cucumbers too. So I'm really not sure what's going on. But on the other side is someone's eating it a lot. It's not good. The tomato plants didn't die, but they're just not uh, growing. Uh, these have passed, and I just planted this stuff. And let's just hope for the best. I never even got to this box. Um, I had to buy more dirt and you know, it's not easy just buying dirt. Okay. And um, what else we got? And this one's doing just fine. Look at this one. This one's going beautiful. Wow. We even got another strawberry. I didn't see that yesterday. That one's doing perfect. The money tree is growing and somebody's still eating it, you see? Yeah. The little critters, they like to eat. All of this stuff I'm going to have to replace. There's no more flowers. All the blue stuff is gone. <laughs> and this stuff just died completely. But the time is doing good. I use so much time in my food now. I just love it. If nothing else, I love the thyme and the strawberries. And these guys are growing like crazy. Everything looks beautiful. This one's even growing in height. This has kept its color. And the same thing for this one. Remember this little guy we planted on this side bought a cheaper one, but it's actually growing. <laughs> it's just getting as big as that one. And this one has grown too. All of these are new. Yeah, that one, that one, that one, and you have another one, little one right there growing. You see, those are all new. It's beautiful. This one grows really tall. I'm sitting in that cute little chair that I painted. <laughs> oh, it's so hot out here, guys. I really got to wrap this up. I want to show you these balls that I digged out. I'm going to hang them up out here somewhere. Just glass ball, balls. I keep them under my bathroom sink, the cabinet. Yeah. And I believe you've seen this one already because this one doesn't go inside the house. This stays out here all winter. That's why it's all rusted. But it's a beautiful ball. I'm not sure what they are. I believe these two are modern. And that one and that one, I believe they're antique. You can just tell by the weight, the feel, and the texture of the glass. Like you see, this one is so, so cheaply made, but it's beautiful compared to that beautiful swirl. I mean, do you see that? It's beautiful. Okay, and um, I put those in the front garden, remember? But I found some tomato plants laying around, so I put that in there. And this one's died too. It's just completely dead. Oh. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with it. It's like someone's been digging in it. I might can bring it back to life. I'm gonna, when the sun goes down, I'm gonna come out here and do some things. 
I also wanted to show you. What did I want to show you? I uh, just I wanted to show you something. Oh, all oh, these. Yeah, these little guys. These are uh, peppers. They look like they're growing just fine. I'm not going to mess with them. I'm going to let them grow out a little bit more. Well, maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll put them in there so they have more space. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll put them in there. I still haven't figured out what we're going to do with that. That'll be another video. But, um, God bless. I hope I didn't make you guys dizzy. <laughs> you see how sunny it is? It's so, 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 so sunny. Yeah. I love my little area. I'm always out here. Um, I got to do something with that. Okay, so I'll see you next time, and um, we'll keep checking on the tomato plant.